It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Cleveland Browns. And it's all up next. From just off the shores of Lake Erie, EA Sports brings you coverage of the NFL from Cleveland Brown Stadium in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. Today we've got a fun AFC matchup on tap as it will be the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Cleveland Browns. Dustin Hopkins has this one teed up, and we are underway here in Cleveland. Jamal Agnew now to return it. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. They're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. The word is potential, potential, potential. Think about this guy from the time he was in high school, one of the top prospects going to college, coming out of college, mentioned as a generational type quarterback. He looks the part. Tall, big arm, surveys the field, and can take off and run when under duress. Lawrence looking to pass on the first play. To the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Lawrence. Taken down. This will be a brown sack. Miles Garrett just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. But just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Finally be escorted out of bounds down inside the 35. A big third down play there for the Jags. 43 yards. Well, things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now Lawrence, incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Christian Kirk, the man he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. They'll run for the first time with Travis Etienne. And he'll go down at the 28. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. On third down, Lawrence. Oh, able to avoid him. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that 
sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know, at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. And they'll run with ETN. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. It's largely been the air attack that's gotten him down here, but now's where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. ETN, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. On third and goal, Lawrence. Touchdown! Christian Kirk on the receiving end of that touchdown pass from Trevor Lawrence. And the Jaguars are on the board first here this afternoon. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them but they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive, maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Grant, he will not return it, and his guys will begin at the 25. So here are the Browns under head coach Kevin Stefanski, the former national champion at Clemson, bringing him onto the field, and that's the signal caller, Deshaun Watson. And he makes it so difficult for all defenses because when he's got the ball, it's hard to say when a play is truly over because he can create from any spot on the field and in any situation, even when it appears that he's contained. When he's running your offense, a big play could arrive from any possible spot. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's a heck of an effort from Josh Allen getting in there defensively. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Second down, here's Chubb again. Pushes past him, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A nice job there as he rumbles for nine, and it'll be back to a third and three. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner, but where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. On to the second from Cleveland. It's the Browns in control of the football. Third and three as they've got it as we resume action. Watson on third down. They set up the screen to Chubb. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try to find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. 
Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Second down, here's Chubb again. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. He had a minimal gain on first down. Now they stop him for no gain. What do you think, going in a different direction on third down? Could very well be. I'll guarantee he's asking for the ball third time to try and make up for the first two. But his QB might very well say, well, my man, maybe next series. Let's try someone else on this play. He's got his target. That's complete. It will go out right near the 35-yard line. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Now it's Watson. This complete to David Bell. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Ball on the 27, here's second down and two. A shotgun snap for Watson. Quick slant to Chubb. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 15-yard line. That'll move the sticks for the Browns, a gain of 12. Seems as if the passing attack's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. From the red zone now, Watson. And it is caught at the seven-yard line. And he's gonna get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. But forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. To throw on second is Watson. That's to the right side and complete to Najoku. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. And the Jags, Charles, I think they're on the dime here. Covering a lot of field. To the air yet again, Watson. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Touchdown, Browns! Nick Chubb from six yards away. And the Browns are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. After nearly 30 minutes of football, that touchdown puts us in a position where if they make the extra point, we're right back to even before we start the second half. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that one a long 11-play drive, and it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. Had it. Each team has scored 7 7 here as the kicks away. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. And the Jags going to go on offense now late in this first half. And they've got a little under 40 seconds to go if they want to try to put something together here.
On first down, Lawrence. And Jones has it over the middle. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 27 yard line. Final play of the half. It's Lawrence. Man open. That's Calvin Ridley. And they'll get to him right away as he's taken down right there at the 44. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have the show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our We EA thought this Sports one would be a close report. battle coming in. Coach. And we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. All right, coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven, our score. On oh, the return from his end zone is Grant. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. Well, the first half very even. I mean, really in all facets. This ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Watson on first down. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. From the 29, here's second down and three. Here's Watson. It's caught. Cooper. That is first catch so far. They held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. To throw is Watson. That pass complete to Moore. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Simple drag route here. Lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Second down and six now. Here's Watson. And he'll go right back to Moore. Complete again. Short completion, just four yards. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Again, it's Watson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 45-yard line. A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. 
Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Second down, here's Chubb again. Solid running on the carry, but still brought down just inside of the 40. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Well, there's an example of patience being rewarded. Ran the ball on first down and got stuffed. Most people would scream, throw the ball here in this situation. They stayed with their roots, stayed with running the football, and they got rewarded. From the gun on third, Watson. Going out wide, finds Chubb. And he is out of bounds inside the third. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. Short yard situation, you have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out of the backfield, trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. Now a first down throw, Watson. He's got Najoku, his big tight end. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Watson. Touchdown! David Bell, a five-yard touchdown. And the Browns have broken our tie and have taken a fourth-quarter lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Extra point good by Hopkins, and that makes the score 14 to 7. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And David Bell closed things out with a touchdown catch. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Now comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw into the hands of Kirk, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So eight yards on the completion there, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Lawrence now off the bootleg. This is caught. It's Kirk. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 43. Lawrence with a completion to Kirk. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 12 more yards there and another first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, 
take their shots. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. And completes it to Kirk over the middle. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. <laughs> I can't help but chuckle a little bit because at this point, it can't be a surprise to anyone in the building who's going to get the ball. They just keep feeding him over and over, and he just keeps on delivering. On first and 10, it's ETN. And here he'll get it down to the 7. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. But you know, some people crazy see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. The dog pound barking as loud as they can here. Third down. Lawrence. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Christian Kirk on the receiving end of that touchdown pass from Trevor Lawrence. And the Jaguars are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch tomorrow. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. On the return from his end zone is Grant. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. With the football going back over now to the Cleveland Browns. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Well, that's a good first step, but several steps still to go. They still have time for the possible game-winning field goal. Time for them to be quick and hurry at the same time. They'll come up first and ten here. Now Watson. They set up the screen to Chubb. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Here's second down. To throw, Watson. And he's got his receiver, Cooper. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Two timeouts still in their back pocket. It's first and ten. Up the middle, it's Chubb. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down.
Here's Chubb on the read option. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And we are set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. So now it all comes down to Dustin Hopkins, and we will get a timeout with two ticks left. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. Two seconds on the clock, this for the win. And the 10-year bet knocks it through the goalpost, and the Browns are going to win the football game. Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. And what we got, a very entertaining.